mystery location, it's not that mystery. We're down on the Sussex coast. We are trying to catch uh, rays, hounds, it's the, it's the main thing. Will we? I don't know. We're with some friends, let me show you. And these guys here, done us a real solid. They actually move swims. Get the sun. They actually move swims. So we put together, which is fantastic. So we gave them some mackerel, some, some pet mackerel that we caught over the last couple of days. So yeah, we're gonna see how we get on. Keep you informed, obviously. So uh, spinning around and trying to keep the sun in the uh, sun in the lens. So yeah, this is um, we're here for a couple of days. Tonight is hounds and rays. Tomorrow, Lindsay, and maybe me, because this is spinning up a river. And then tomorrow night again, we're going to go for something hopefully biggish. Rays, hounds, rumours of a tote. So we're we'll see how we get on. Right, baits. Let's have a look. So I've got. A pulley rig with sand eel and squid lee burn look at that you've got to be proud of that you've got to be proud of that and then i've got a cox and raw extreme ray rig or heavy duty ray rig um pennel whole squid um so yeah let's give that a go rods I do apologize for the purists. Hellraiser, covered in mackerel, um, scales, uh, Shimano reels, and the other rod. Any fish, anywhere, six and bait, and let's see how we get on. Quite pleased with that, first cast. That'd do. That'd do me. So just fishing the one at the moment. I just need to see where everyone else is fishing at the moment. I think it's a little bit tight here. There's a guy, two guys to my right. Madam to my left, who's got two rods out. So I think I'll just do the one rod and try and fish the best I can with that one rod. I have got another one ready. So I'll just fish the two rods. So we're ready to rock, um, should I get a fish. So Lindsay's going big. Looks like she's going taupe. I'll let you know how that goes. So the lad's next to me. Bit of a knock on the rod. We'll see if they've got anything. We're coming up now to, what have we got, 9.20, high tides at 10.40, so we should be coming to bite time. The locals here are saying an hour before high. We'll see. What a great little fish. What was that on? Uh, uh, that was actually on a lug and squid. Lug and squid? Yeah, yeah. What a lovely little fish. There you go. Was that you? Yeah, <laughs> never in. Quite well done. Get lovely, lovely. Cheers, mate. Don't get wet feet. Tide's coming up now, moon's out. Getting dark. Getting dark now, I'm gonna have to move back shortly. As you can hear, the waves are getting closer to my feet. Beautiful though, beautiful night. There she is, still sitting in the same position. Still sitting there, staring at her rod. She'll get one, no doubt. Nice little bream. She put him back. There he goes. Lovely, that was good. What'd you catch that on? This is on the screen. 
Happy days, half what, the screen. What a beautiful fish. Isn't it? Rotter Christian. Happy days. Oh, well done, mate. <laughs> so, well done. Here goes. Nice. There he goes, look. There we go. It is a little strap conga for Lindsay. Sorry, I just wanted to get the hook out because he didn't seem overly active then, but he is now. Look so. at him, he's going to go back. Horrible little things, but it's a fish. Here we are. So, we're in Worthing. I don't know if I said that yesterday. Um, so, we are just outside Premier in. There she is, Lindsay. Happy as always. She only got her. Um, she, didn't, she didn't get much breakfast. She's a bit moody. Um, so last night you would seem really difficult to film in the night. Just to say that. So last night we've got. Um, I got a bream doggy. Lindsay got um, strap eel doggy. The guys next to us got bream, you saw that. We filmed a hound. So the hound came in, um, we got that. Unfortunately, we didn't get one. Um, special guest today. Dave's come down from Kent, who lives around the corner from us in Kent, actually. So he's fishing here. We were gonna be fishing Worthing Pier um, Lindsay was going to be fishing with some kids. Getting, is it getting to fishing? Was it getting to fishing? You were doing that. Yeah, so it was a getting to a fishing event. Um, it didn't happen because of some problems with the pier. So we're all here trying to make the best of it, getting some fishing. So we're going to see. So we're just here. We've heard rumours of stingrays. We we're a little bit late to the party. The um, high tide is around half an hour from now. And then really we've got to find something for a low water mark for this afternoon. Uh, Cause this will go down quite quickly. Um, I'm fishing on squid. Lindsay's on rag. Dave's on rag. So we'll see how we get on. She's laughing. She's laughing at something. I don't know what makes a change. Look at it. Look at them. Look at them. Beautiful. said you'd have to sneak up on David and film with him now and he doesn't like the camera and then we just we just seek forgiveness sometimes it's better that way I'll get him in a minute where are you going for now uh, I'm try for bream, I guess. what are you gonna do mackerel little strips of mackerel yeah. squib might work too Oh, are they my scissors? She's trying to be all friendly now to the camera. She's trying to up her profile. Don't fall for it, viewers. She still swears at me on a regular basis. So I don't know if you can see that. Change of tactic. Loop rig. Size 10 hook. Beads. Worm. Squid top. Looks beautiful, right? So we're going to try for a place. Okay, so on the move, we didn't catch diddly shit. We are off to Shoreham Arm. Shoreham Harbour. Probably grab something to eat and then fish off the wall, try and do a little bit of spinning, some LRF or Lindsay will. I may not fish till later. I'm trying to get some filming done. It's quite difficult to fish and film, as you can tell. Um, I'm not that great at it. But yep, there's the gang. Lindsay's doing as she's told, packing up and that which is great, nice to see. Don't tell her I said that. 
I'll get one of those stairs. Different venue. Different venue. Now we're at Shoreham, maybe. Yeah, Shoreham Harbour. Trying to do a little bit of uh, lure fishing. Well, Lindsay and Dave are. Dave's already on it. There's Lindsay. Looks good for fish, to be fair. No success. Nice place. Lovely place, actually. Obviously, bass here. Um, again, I think I think we timed it wrong. Tide coming down. But listen, tide. They've got to come back past twice. The tide. In and out. Um, wrong timing. So off now. We're going to go somewhere else. I think. Um, I think there's some lads that we know up on the Shoreham Arm. So we might walk up there and see them, and then get ready for tonight's fishing, which is just be, I think, the same place where we were last night. Um, hounds, bream, and rays. So I might go all out for a ray tonight. We'll see. <laughs> now then. So we are back where we started our adventure yesterday. So we came here last night, but look, I thought I'd show you this. Um, myself and Lindsay were a couple of bays over that way. But look at the moonscape. So you can sort of see why, you can sort of see why the hounds come in, right? And you can sort of see why the rays come in. Look, you imagine the food in here for the hounds, the crabs. Look at it. So last night there was bream, dogfish, eels, everything caught from here. And you can sort of see why. Um, sandy, Rocky, listen, I'm no bloody expert, as you know. But if I was a fish, I reckon I'd like to um, have a little muck around in here. There's some worm casts. Hang on, let me show you. If I fall over, don't laugh. So there's an abundance of food here. Dave just been out and got some crab from under the rocks. Um, so yeah, there we go, we've got a few hours yet but we wanted to come down, we have a feeling this is one of the only places where, um, where fish were caught, so we want to be here, we've come down super early so that we reserve our bays. And the lads, um, there we go, look, the lads are all there. So there's a few of us. Linda's there, I'm there. Nick, Craig, Dave, Graham. Um, all ready to try and catch something and get something on camera, so. I'll keep you going. I'll keep you um, informed as we get on. So it is now five to eight. There you go. Here it comes. It's coming in at speed. So hopefully any time now, well, I'll tell you in the next 15 minutes, 20 minutes, I'm gonna start putting some bait on. My little scratching rig, I'm gonna chuck some um, rag on and then I'm gonna get my bigger bait ready. Um, until the water probably hits the bottom of this groin here, which is there to me. So yeah, here we, here we go. Let's hope for something. What I've said to the lads is, I'm really happy, and I'm not just saying it because I'm 
not a very good fisherman because I'm not um, and I admit that but if someone catches a fish they're gonna shout I'm gonna go and film it so let's hope that we catch fish early in daylight because it's really difficult to film here at the night time so let's hope that we get some fish pretty quick as the water comes up and uh, we'll have to show some more fish as we did last night nothing today is yet but we're hopeful what do you reckon what do you reckon i reckon it's a spotted dog you reckon it's a dog yeah doesn't matter a fish is a fish see those groins there can't you yeah fish is a fish it's a little doggy <laughs> Thanks for shouting though, it's the first fish. Just a dog fish that time, but you know it's coming from him. So we're out, we're fishing. Um, the, there we go. That was my little marker there for, um, for the smooth hound bait, was that groin. I did have a scratching rig out, to be honest. I don't know what happened. It came off the clip. I thought it was my best ever cast ever. Um, these things happen in fishing. Maybe I shouldn't tell you that. But it did. It just came off. Nothing wrong with the clip. I don't know whether I had a swivel break or whatever. But um, yeah, my lead and rig went out into the blue yonder. So let's try and grab that back tomorrow. So yeah. That's painful. Very, very painful. But there we go. Anyway, we are fishing. Everyone's fishing. Dave and Nick are up that way. Craig is there. Lindsay there. Graham there. And Ollie is the other side of him. So it's a full squad. Hopefully, one of us. Off down the beach again. Looks like Graham's got something here. Looks like a fish I know. I wouldn't say I love, but it's a fish. It's a little dogfish just to start with, but uh, good little sign there. Got a little doggy. Excellent. Yeah. What, what was that on? First cast, that was on a little bit of squid, that one there. Yeah, so just a little bit of squid, uh, just wrapped up into a little sausage. So, Perfect. Uh, yeah, it gets a little fella back though. If we were carp fishing, it would show that the rigs were working. <laughs> you know. You know. <laughs> nice little dog. That's two dogs we know about. Good cast from Lindsay there. That was a whip. That was a very good cast. Very good cast, that. Yeah. Look at her little face. Look at her little face. Uh, we're back in Kent. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We didn't get any smooth hounds last night, but um, there some dogfish came out. Always grateful for dogfish if you're not catching. I don't think anyone got a. Uh, we did leave. We left before the others. They were packing up. I'm not sure anyone got a smooth hound last night or a ray. But we are where we are. Um, we're back now. So hit the subscribe thing, the button, the thumb thing, the bell thing, and all that. Thanks for watching. We're off to Wales next week. So um, there'll be another one of, uh, on the Welsh trip. It was this time last year that we caught the hounds. So we're going to try and catch a hound down in Wales. I've no doubt we're going to have Wales and Blank, but we've got some good friends down there. We're going to try and avoid that happening for us. So that's what we need. So see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Fishing with the Green. Thanks.